Yeah. Okay, this is on the thorough job, number 53583, install on 718. <clears throat> so what we're doing is we are switching out this furnace with another 90% um, 70,000 furnace. We are changing the coil. This is a downflow and changing the AC with the heat pump. Um, okay, so duct just as it shows, furnace will sit on a six inch base in the coil. And on that base, I wrote uh, one inch from sheetrock wall. And then on the back, four and three quarter from the back sheetrock wall. Okay, then we have the furnace. And then I have a little piece of duct, six inches tall. Um, you will need to get your two two inch flues off the front and come this way or wherever you want, but you know, probably this way. And so that's what that's for. And then we have a PCO filter box here then a transition and this transition will sorry this piece will bring our duct our filter box one inch from the back wall and we have our filter box and the transition and then the canvas so i have a cut line right there I need to right cut still but that's our cut line Okay, so this is a downflow. Um, so with this, they added a an addition, and I'll go over that in a minute. Combustion air, not applicable. The vent, so um, you're going to vent 2 inch PVC, right now it's 3 inch, and it goes to a concentric. The concentric, I'll show you. See, this is their addition. So the concentric is right there, and it terminates below this roof. So basically, we're going to run all new flu to a two inch concentric on top with a new flashing um, just like normal okay um uh, okay um so you gas from the cock you're going to add a close uh, three quarter by half reducer and what a 12 I think a 12 inch then your flex then a T4 cap 12 inch into the furnace um, AC I'll go over in a minute you drain well, I'll go over the AC now so Furnace sits here. The east door is right here. Okay, so the new AC is going to go right here. Um, on this pad north of this door. Um, run new line set. Um, we switched ACs from a two ton to a three ton. So, make sure you have a 7 8 3 8 line set and a 3 ton AC condensing unit. Anyway, um, so right now the AC is right here and it's still running. So, disconnect that and get rid of that. The homeowner will provide power to a new disconnect. Um, with a 30 amp breaker, wherever he's getting the power from. Okay.
So the drain, the furnace drain, I'll just show you. In the crawl space, Jeez, I don't want to go in here, but I'll have to eventually. Okay, right now they've got the drain coming in here, and then it goes down to the wall and just drips. Um, I talked to them about it, and so we're going to run a new drain and just bring it over. Um, you know, you can see the sewer line here, and just let it drip over somewhere over there. And when he redoes his drain to do his addition, he will add a T and drain that. But he won't have that done by the time we're here. So just drain it over there in a good place by the main drain. <coughs> or further. <laughs> While I'm down here, um, I'll just go over the supply air. Okay, so you can see that hole in the cement right there. So that's our hole for us to get under the, in the crawl space over there. So, right here you can see two plenums coming down. Um, so I gave you a big, an 8 by 24 starting collar right here to squirt around to a 14 inch round. So just put it like center in the where the two come down. And then just shoot 14 inch flex through that hole. I'll go over the rest in a minute. Yeah. Okay, drain. Okay, so thermostat, we're putting an S30 stat on. Um, the power, we're going to reuse the box, add a new switch and cover. Um, looks like I will probably have to order you a flat cover and another box. Probably make this flat cover somewhere. That's what I'll do. Okay. So, um, since this is a downflow, our return air is in the attic. We have a 12 by 20 duct going up there. So what we're gonna do for our return is we're gonna take a 14 inch round, top it into the side of it in the attic, and then do 14 inch flex and get out to the new addition. So, let's go out to the new addition. Okay, so the scope here is, this is the main door. They're gonna open this up wide, um, get rid of all this, so it'll be an open area. I'm not quite sure the extent of it, but. Um, and then this is the kitchen. So this is gonna be wrap around, all the way wrapped around. So I guess the kitchen sink's gonna be right here. So we're gonna put a toe kick under the kitchen sink, a seven inch toe kick. And the drawings. There it is. Okay, so there's our supply. 14 inch round through that hole. And we have a 14, six, sorry, 14, seven, 14. This will go to the toe kick under the sink. And a uh, 14, seven, 12 Y. I'll get a, these are all uh, four by 12 by seven straight boots. So we're gonna put a four by 12 under that window. Um, so the kitchen will get two. And this is uh, a family room type thing. We're gonna put a 
So they have the closet on the outside wall. They're gonna put a safe right here. So we're gonna put a four by 12 against this wall. Um, it's where it looks the best. We'll put the return air over here so everything will just kind of flow this way. Gonna put a four by 12 under this window and a four by 12 um, in between this window and door here. Okay, this is a bedroom. I'm gonna put a four by 12 centered in the window in the bedroom. Okay, so a return, a 14 inch return. I'm just gonna cut out the old roof somewhere and we're gonna add on the paper. Okay, so that was supply. So I'll return 14 inch round in the attic. I'm gonna cut through the roof where needed. I'm gonna add a 14, 10, 12 Y. Um, and this will be sidewall, a 12 by 12 flat roof. These are all 12 by 12 flats fed by 10 inch round. So there's three of them. One in the kitchen, one in the back bedroom, and one in this room. Um, so where this last joist is, that's gonna be a wall. So we'll just, since this is a kitchen area, we wanna get our return over here somewhere, side wall. Um, I mean, I don't care if you do it ceiling either, but we talked about side wall high. Um, when we talked about it and just get it so it's not in over the stove or sink you know in, in this open area anyway um then we have a y so then we're gonna have a uh 12 by 12 high in this living room area and a 12 by 12 over the door area for the bedroom and um is that it oh not yet so right now they don't have an attic access um so what i did is i climbed through the ladder up the ladder and took that grill off and did that I don't think I showed you up here. I didn't. So there's our planum right there. Get a 14 inch round right up there and loop around. Um, and okay. Um, Let's see. Um, sorry, I'm just in deep thought here. Okay. I think that's it.